Fabricating.com is an on-demand sourcing platform, and what we do is we enable uh, a supply chain for custom-made metal or plastic parts. Mm -hmm. And the other thing we enable is for manufacturers to reshore manufacturing that's been done overseas by connecting them to capable metalworking and plastic forming shops in the U.S. We enable the suppliers, the job shops we work with, to present themselves and their capabilities to buyers at the exact moment that they're looking for the, that skill set and that capacity. Uh, but our focus is strictly on custom-made metal and plastic, uh, ceramic, rubber, industrial manufactured parts. Um, but we do serve uh, in our market space makers, micro businesses, and Fortune 500 companies. The thing they have in common is the need to have a, a part made to a, a drawing, to an engineering drawing, to a very specific part. The sourcing process can get messy, especially if you have multiple line items to an RFQ, multiple parts, you send it out to multiple suppliers, you're getting responses, uh, and everybody's looking at it a little bit differently. What we do is we create a, a workflow for that process that makes it efficient, makes it organized, and it helps the buyer uh, to analyze the bids and, and really select what's, what's right for them. And not, it's not always price. Uh, a lot of times it's delivery, it's, it's a supplier who has a different take on how to make a specific part. So there's a lot that goes into it. And, uh, and then, of course, on the back side of it, we, it's always recorded. There's a full audit trail of all the communication that went back and forth. Unlike a when, you, when you have to buy a commodity or a gear or a valve or something like that, custom-made parts require a lot of communication between the buyers and suppliers on how to make that part. I wasn't a founder. I raised the seed money for MFG.com from Thomas Publishing. But I was an arm's length advisor for all the years that it was, it was running in the market space. And in 06, I joined as vice, Pro vice president of product design. I think the main key difference is we do not uh, allow suppliers from outside of the U.S. to participate in the community. We only work with U.S.-based suppliers. Mm -hmm. uh, our mission is to help manufacturers bring work back, to reshore it from overseas back to the U.S. market. We want to bolster the U.S. economy by supporting U.S. contract manufacturers, precision manufacturers, job shops. And we do that by presenting them to buyers and helping buyers discover these shops and their capabilities here, right here in the U.S. Everything from a small manufacturer uh, uh, who, who uh, makes very specialized kind of hunting equipment, was making it in China, has brought that back here, found a capable U.S. suppliers, to Fortune 500 companies that we have sourcing uh, parts for jet engines for the aerospace industry. What they have in common is they were using a Chinese supplier, they want to bring it back, but you know, this segment of the market, job shops, precision manufacturers, machine shops, are usually, uh, they're predominantly small businesses. They are predominantly owned by someone with an engineering background, and they usually don't have a lot of marketing resources. So it's hard for them to present themselves to buyers, to, to market themselves, and that's what we're doing. We're bringing them to the table when the buyer is looking to source for uh, a custom-made product. When I look at our market space, we have New York suppliers covering over 250 discrete manufacturing processes. Everything from 3D printing to 5-axis machining. Mm -hmm. So you can get pretty much anything made in New York in any material. We've, we're finding that you know New York-based suppliers are competitive. Uh, we have had awards on our platform from California-based uh, buyers uh, to New York suppliers. It happens all the time. Uh, they're just as competitive as anywhere else.